Hello YouTube land. Okay, we are back here at on the screen with Adobe Illustrator 2023 going through all the steps one by one as we learn more about how to use Adobe Illustrator. Okay, I'm doing it this way to look at how they have directions and how they do the instruction and doing it little by little in case somebody would like to follow along. My uh, practice will be this way. I won't be editing out, you know, two seconds of anything or anything like that. I'll just be going right through one step at a time. Okay, so now we are on five of six. So we're gonna do step five and step six, changing colors. So let's check this out. Next, you'll change the color of the sky. Excuse me, <clears throat> sorry about that. Next, you'll change the color of the sky to transform it into a sunset scene. Okay, so right click in the light blue sky. Well, let's move this over. Okay, we're gonna right click First, I want to unselect, so I'm going to un deselect. Okay, so nothing's selected. And <clears throat> click in the light blue sky to select the sky. Just click in it, not right click, just click there. Just like they have there. Then click the blue box next to the word fill in the properties panel. Again, whatever you highlight, meaning whatever you click on, is what the Properties panel is going to relate to. I clicked on the sky, so now everything in the Properties panel is going to relate to the sky. That's how programs work. Okay, so let's see what they have in relation to the sky. They have this fill color. Right, and this other information here. And what they want you to do is in the panel that appears, click the color swatch, color square, which is the fill color. And right here, this little question mark will show you where that is. Whoops. There we go. It's in this box, which is right here. So we're going to click on this, and we'll, it'll bring up all the other color swatches there okay and then <clears throat> you can also choose this and here are the uh, hexadecimal equivalent this is the hex equivalent to that color okay but we're gonna go back here and we're going to follow these directions and figure out what we want to put here. Click a color swatch colored square to alter the color of the sky. Every document has a set of built-in colors you can use or you can make your own. Now try changing the color of the sun to a fiery red color to suit the sunset. So let's click the sky color. Uh, we can click this one. I think that's the one they chose. Yeah. Um, we'll just do that. That's fine. And then, right, so we change the background color of the sky. So now if we want to deselect I think we can press enter. Nope, that's not it. Oh no, that's not it. Okay. How do I deselect other than choosing deselect? Because usually that's what I do. I click on select. Oh, I know. Hold on. Shift control A. All right, so I'm here. Of course, you can go right click and go all the way down here. Mm, no. 
Hmm, okay. Alright, we learned together. So, let's... What did I say it was? <laughs> it's good to know what the shortcuts are. Shift Control A. So, if I click on here, that means it's selected. If I do Shift Control A, that means it's, de it's not selected now. Okay, now I want to select the sun. So now that's selected. And I want to choose a color for the sun. Let's see. Red. Um, yeah, it's not moving because I... Okay. Alright, so... Try changing the color of the sun to a fiery red color to suit the sunset scene. Well, okay, yeah, I chose that color. Let's see if that's the same color they chose. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, mm -hmm. All right, they're just two in the sky on there. Okay. All right, so we'll just leave it at that, and then we'll do Shift, Control, Shift, A, and that will unselect it, deselect it. Okay, that looks pretty neat. All right, so let's go to the next page down here, the next step. Oh, they chose the same color, okay. Now, move, moving around in your document. You can pan in your document to view other artwork without having to zoom. So here, let's do this. Number one, press and hold on the zoom tool. Then select the hand tool from the nested tools. Now, actually, yeah, it's down there. Let me move this over. There's, oh, let's see. See, this is the zoom tool. This is the hand tool. Yeah, they want... Drag, drag in the... Let me see. Press and hold on the zoom tool, then select the hand tool. Drag in, in the document to see the artwork with the crescent moon to the right. Select the selection tool and click the cloud shape on the right. So let's take the hand tool, drag in the document to see the artwork with the crescent moon on the right. I'm going to move this over like that with the hand tool. Okay? And then select the selection tool and click the cloud shape on the right. Then drag it higher to place it behind the moon. So we're going to click the selection tool. Then we're going to click the cloud. And we're going to set it right there. Okay. And then pressing shift while dragging moves it in a straight line. Oh, well, yes. See, shift can be your, oops, click, shift. There we go. There we go. Yep. All right, and then Control shift a to deselect. Finally, choose View, Fit All in Window to admire your changes to the posters. <laughs> okay, Fit All in Window. There we go. All right. That is all. That's all for this lesson. We're going to do other lessons next. All right. Have a nice evening. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I would really appreciate it if you'd like to click that like button and subscribe. I'm going to work really hard on just creating all these videos to try to help as many people as possible while I'm practicing learning it. 
Um, I have a long technical background, but I have not. I don't have a lot of time in Adobe Illustrator, so let's learn together. Why not? <laughs> okay. Have a good one. Thank you. Good night.